step-by-step -step investment incentive intro instructions. Step one, you're going to search ticker and the ticker symbol. If I look at this first column, the ticker symbol is C-R-E-E. -E. I'm going to search the word ticker, T-I-C-K-E-R, and then the letter C-R-E-E. -E. Some information comes up. I want this number, 82.10, that's the current price. And I also want this information, the full company name. Okay, in this case, it happens that the company name is the same as the ticker symbol. That's not usually true, though. You can see another example here, ticker symbol V-I-C-R. The full company name is Viker Corp. And again, the, the current price will be here. Know this, if you're searching in the middle of the day between 9.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m., this number will be live changing from minute to minute, potentially. So it's possible that when you search the number, it's at a certain point, and then when another classmate searches the number, it's at a different point. That's fine. That's fine if you get different points within the same day. Usually, they're all within the same range of each other within one day. Step two, you're going to multiply the current price by the number of shares we have in our holding company. The number of shares we have are, is in this purple row. So for Cree, I have three shares. That means that what I'm going to do is multiply this number, 82.1. Okay, that's the price of one share times the three shares that we own. This is the total value of the piece of the company Cree that we have right now, $246.30. We're going to put that number in our spreadsheet for Cree on today's date. Whatever today's date happens to be, I'm looking at 11 20 2020. All right, and our price was, or our total for three shares is $246.03. $246.03. My bad. Okay, we're going to compare that number to the number in blue, the price that we bought at. If this number is higher than the price we bought at, we're going to shade the box green. If it's lower, we're going to shade the box red. All right, that'll let us know, are we making money right now in this company or are we losing money based on what we paid for it? Step three, search the full company name and look through their website to get a basic idea for what they do. If I search for Cree Incorporated, I'll probably come up with their website right here. All right, I get a I get a little bit of an idea just by the title of it. It says SIC and GAN Power RF Solutions and LED Technology. Uh, I'm gonna look through the beginnings. Powering progress for tomorrow. That's their thing. There's a video that I could watch if I wanted to. Um, all right. So they're talking about cellular power amplifiers. Something to do with cell phones. Charging. EV charging. Uh, they're, t they're, they're dealing with electric cars. So I'm just looking through the website and trying to get a basic idea for what they do. A lot of times these websites will have an about section or products section that you could look through. If I look at the history of the company. Alright, this is the kind of stuff they started out making, LEDs. It says they, they made the or they commercialized the world's first blue LED. Uh, scrolling down, I mean they make all kinds of little electronic components this is again the uh, electric car type stuff looks like they deal with some components inside of satellites anyway I'm gonna go into our research document and I'm gonna put the name of the the full name of the company and say basically what they do just a simple idea of what they do, and then that's it for that company. And you'll repeat the same process for all of the other companies. This whole row should get filled out. All of these boxes should get filled out. Last step, 
after you have done all of the other research, figured out what the companies do, seen a little bit where their prices are going, up or down, I want you to pick three out of the eight companies, either three that you're most interested in or three that you predict will perform the best over the next three and a half years. And then you're going to remove the rest of the companies from display on the Sheets graph. You can see on our Google Sheets, we're starting with all eight of them on the graph, and that's going to be really, that's going to, that's going to, it's going to be hard to analyze them. So we're going to keep, all of us will keep updating information in the table for all eight companies, but each of us is only going to, when we do graph activities, look at three of the companies. So the way that you can remove stuff from the graph is click on the triple dot, edit chart, and then come down to where all the series are listed, and you're going to remove five of these. And the way you remove it is triple dot, remove. Okay, leave only three, only the three that you're most interested in watching, or the three that you predict will do the best for you as we move toward a short four years from now.